Hey guys, so today I'm going to guide you step by step on how to set up your MSI Afterburner on screen display. So the first thing that we are going to do is to actually download the software. Let's start with opening Google Chrome and let's type in download MSI Afterburner. Let's choose this one. I will add the link in the description down below. Now let's scroll down. In here you're gonna see three options. So we are actually gonna choose the first option. But there's two here at the bottom. In this tutorial we are going to choose the beta. So let's click on that. And as you can see, it is being downloaded to my PC. So let's give it a few seconds or minutes. Now, by the way, this is depending on your internet. Looks like it is done. So let's close the Google Chrome browser. And now let's go to the downloads folder right click on start choose file explorer go to downloads and there it is let's highlight the file right click and then extract all now to keep this tutorial as simple as possible I am actually going to extract the file inside the downloads folder so let's click extract a new folder just got created so let's go open it double click it double click it again and then let's highlight this exe file right click run it as administrator <coughs> click yes and this tutorial we are going to use the English language so click OK click next I accept the terms click next now this is very important that the Riva tuner is checked out or else the OSD will not play or will not display in your game. So click next. I will install this software inside the C drive. Click next and then click install. I will choose English again and then click OK. Click Next. I will accept the terms. Click Next. I will install this file inside the C drive. Click Next. Click Install. click finish and then click finish again and there it is this is your MSI afterburner user interface so let's go close the file explorer at the back and as you can see the MSI afterburner shortcut is also present in my desktop and now let's go to the settings so by default you will be inside the general tab and it is also displaying my current GPU which is an RTX 2080 Super now this is something that may interest you so let's say for example every time you power on your gaming computer you want the MSI afterburner to be available to you right away that can be done by clicking this checkbox here where it says start with windows and also if you want it minimized click the next checkbox also and then click apply now let's go to the monitoring tab In this section, this is actually where you are going to choose what kind of information you want to be displaying while you're gaming at the same time. 
so in my case I want to see my GPU temperature my GPU usage my CPU temperature my CPU usage and also my frame rate so let's begin GPU temperature it is currently highlighted and then let's go click this one where it says show in on-screen display and then also click override group name so we're gonna give this a different name I'm gonna choose 2080 super you can give whatever name you want and then we're gonna highlight GPU usage we'll do the same thing click this one and then this one and then paste now let's go save it so I just gave my GPU temperature and my GPU usage the same name meaning they are going to be on the same row but I actually do prefer seeing my GPU usage and then my GPU temperature so you can actually rearrange that by dragging the GPU usage just above the GPU temperature now let's go look for CPU temperature let's click that let's click this one oops let's click this one again and then let's put the uh, Ryzen 2600 because that's the one I have right now let's copy this now let's go CPU usage click this one that one and then paste now let's go look for frame rate so by default the frame rate it is currently disabled but you can enable it by clicking the check mark beside it and now let's go click this and also this and let's give it a different name I do prefer calling it FPS for obvious reasons and then we click apply now whatever I just choose the information that I want to see on my on-screen display I actually want to see them up top of the list so I would left click this and then use my scroll wheel on my mouse and then drag it to the top and then drop it here now let's go do the same thing with the other ones CPU temperature left click and then drag it to the top and then CPU usage left click drag it to the top um, okay so I wanna see CPU usage I'm gonna move it just a little bit then my CPU temperature just a little bit nope So there it is, so it's going to be GPU usage, GPU temperature in the same line and then CPU usage and then CPU temperature in the same line and then the frame rate. So let's click apply. Now let's go to on screen display. This is where you can actually toggle your on screen display meaning you can turn it on, turn it off, you know, while you are in the middle of your game. So in this tutorial, I'm actually going to use Alt-P. Click Apply. Now let's go to the User Interface tab. In here, you can change the language. So it is currently set to English. You can change it to German, Dutch, Indonesian, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Russian, Turkish if you want. Um, also the temperature format you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit so if you look closely here it says 33 degree or 34 degrees Celsius now I'm gonna change that to Fahrenheit I'll click Fahrenheit click apply now it is 93 degrees Fahrenheit or 91 okay pick a number um, the same thing with the time format it is currently set to 24 hours you can change that to 12 hours so I actually do prefer leaving it in Celsius as my temperature format now if you don't like the look of the 
MSI Afterburner user interface, you can actually change that. So the current UI is set to Mystique. Now let's say if you want to change it to something else, you can choose Cyborg in white. Then click Apply. Now there is a big difference, somewhat. Anyway, I do prefer the previous look, so I'll put it back to Mystique and then click Apply. So let's close the MSI Afterburner properties and let's go here and open the Riva Tuner. So in here I do prefer the raster 3D look and if I click it a font window pane will pop up and then this is where you can choose your font type, font style and font size. So you can play around with it once you're done you click OK. And in here as you can see around the 60 digits there is some sort of shadow. So this is where you currently turn it on or turn it off and also if you want to see some sort of background behind the 60 this is how you turn it on and also you turn it off now if you want to change the color you click this one and then a color palette will pop up now there's a lot of predefined colors in here you can choose whatever you want from green yellow red pink or purple um, I do prefer the default look so just click OK and this one we can actually resize by using the slider so in this tutorial I'm gonna make it as big as possible so that it is a bit more visible and also as you can see the 60 is too close to both edges so let's go change that let's type in 30 press enter type in 30 again and then press enter as you can see the on-screen display it is currently positioned to the top left corner which is very popular to a lot of gamers but you can actually change that depending on your personal preference and also based on the game that you are playing you can change this to bottom left if you want by clicking this button or you want it in the top right corner click that button or at the bottom right corner I actually do prefer seeing this at the bottom right corner because of the game that I am currently playing and I'm about to show you guys in a minute so before I start playing my game I just want to make sure that my monitor is set to the correct refresh rate so let's go to start settings system let's go display and then let's go to advanced display settings I am currently using an Asus VG279 QA monitor it is 1080p resolution now as you can see this is currently set to 60 Hz um, let me go change that so let's click this one and then let's go to the monitor tab and let's go change the refresh rate now this monitor it is capable of going up to 280 Hertz so let's go choose this one click apply keep changes click OK now let's go close the settings let's go to Steam right click and let's choose day of defeat source
So last night I actually tried to record some of my gameplay, but because there's a lot of players that are talking online, the footage is unusable. So today I'm actually going to try to create some sort of footage for you guys to demonstrate on how the on-screen display looks like, on my game at least. So let me find a server where there's no one in there, just bots maybe. Let's do refresh. Let's choose this one. So as you can see in this game, um, the top left corner, there are flags that needs to be captured and at the bottom left corner, this is where you can see your current weapon and how much ammunition do you have. You can see your shovel, you can see how much ammunition do you have when it comes to your grenade and also the top right corner you can see which bot shot which bot <laughs> and the only place where I can actually put my on-screen display would be at the bottom right corner so we did toggle the on-screen display and I believe it was out P so let's try that now as you can see here my 2080 super the usage is at 30 percent and the temperature is at 35 degrees Celsius and my Ryzen 2600, the usage is around 20% ish and the temperature is around 51 degrees Celsius and my FPS is at 299 FPS but mind you this game is really really old the first time that I played this game it was back in 2005 and I don't think Valve did any some sort of update to it but then again I could be wrong so let me start playing some game a little bit and see what happens. Oh, my God. 
Alright guys, if you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe and as always, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.